Hey there guys. So in this second video, I'd like to talk about and demonstrate how I use the grease pencil to turbocharge the design while building the object. Okay, so the, the way I normally work is I'll take a screenshot of what I'm working on in Maya and paint over that screenshot in Photoshop to consolidate the design of the object I'm working on. To be able to draw over the object in 3D with the grease pencil is a game changer for me. Um, I've always wanted to be able to quickly sketch out things like flow lines and compositional placement of elements, but I've never had the tools to do it until now. Here we have the helmet in its early stages of development. You can see where I've used the grease pencil once I turned it on. It's much quicker to sketch out ideas than to commit to actually building it in 3D. So for me, this, is, this tool is essential. So if you look in the outliner, you'll see that there's a grease pencil object. You can turn that on and off, and that will turn on and off the sketches that I've created. So down in the panel, you can see I've created three different layers. So the first layer, I was working on the nose of the helmet. Um, the second layer, I was uh, just scribbling in ideas along the side of the helmet, trying to connect the front and the back together. And then the third one was me just you know, just drawing over the other elements of the uh, helmet. Okay, so I will now demonstrate how to use the grease pencil. Firstly, what we need to do is we need to actually create a grease pencil object. And to do so, we first need to go Shift A, bring up our Add menu and go to Grease Pencil and select Blank. Okay, and if you look over in the outliner, we now have a grease pencil object. Now to begin using grease pencil, what we need to do is change the mode. We need to go to draw. Once we've selected draw, we now can start drawing in the scene. Okay. But as you'll see the draw mode now is just drawing uh, in space randomly. What we want is we want to actually draw on the 3D object. So to do so, what we'll need to do is we'll need to go up to the top middle part of the uh, viewport and select the stroke placement. And go down to surface. Okay. Now what that will do is it'll make it'll make your brush strokes adhere to a surface or any surface that is below the brush stroke. So and with the offset, the offset's quite high. Point 0.1 is quite high. So I find I like to drop that down to say point 0.01. Just experiment with that. You might have different results uh, depending on the size of your object, I guess. So now if I draw see my brush strokes now are sticking to the object. So now I can change the color. I might like to work in black. I might drop the size of the brush a little bit. Cool. So it is recommended to use a Wacom tablet when using drawing. So you do get pressure sensitivity and of course it's just like using a um, like drawing on paper, kind of. The other thing I like to do when using the grease pencil, and especially when I've got an object that is symmetrical, you can actually use modifiers to add symmetry. So if I go into modifiers and go to mirror, and that will add a mirror modifier. And now if I start drawing, you'll notice it does it halves the amount of work that you need to do. So now I can just quickly sketch over my object and just work out where I'd like to have certain aspects or especially seam lines, how they should, you know, you know run over the uh, object and, you know, from one part to another part, creating harmony within you know, your design. Now, before I finish up this video, what I'd like to do is show you how to use decal machine with the grease pencil to create seam lines. So if I turn the grease pencil off and zoom in, let's go to object mode, you'll see these uh, seam lines here around the helmet. They were created using decal machines seam line tool. So I will demonstrate that to you now. But what I'll do is I'll actually load up a simpler scene. Let's just use a, a box for that. All right, so let me just put a material on that. Oops, okay. Okay, nice and shiny. Let's maybe change the color a little bit. 
uh, make it a bit lighter, maybe not so shiny. There we go, cool. Alright, so if I add a Reese Pencil object, let's just quickly go into draw mode, uh, turn on surface, snapping, and reduce the offset to 0 0.01. All right, now if I draw a line, uh, holding shift down, nice clean line. Okay, now if I go into object mode, so go to object mode, and if you you'll need to have decal machine installed, of course, but if you press the D key, D key that will bring up the Pi menu for uh, decal machine, and the decal machine add-on is content uh, aware, so you can see that um, a lot of the buttons are grayed out. It only allows this one single button, which G panel, I assume, it, uh, means grease pencil panel. So if I select that, boom. I now have turned my grease pencil line into a seam, which is super cool. Um, you can also, let's just go back into draw mode again. Actually, no, I've got to select the grease pencil object. Let's go to draw. Let's delete that, create a new layer. All right, now if I turn on straight line, this is a really cool feature, I really like this. So if I just draw out a straight line like that, press enter, one, okay, this is really, really handy. Now if I go into object mode, press D, select G panel, and go into the settings, and I can connect the strokes. So what it'll do, it'll seamlessly connect, and if I make cyclic, it'll do its best to uh, connect those strokes together. So now I've got this cool sort of panel here. And this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to this tool set. There's so many other things you can do with it, but I just thought I'd quickly show you that so you can see the power of Grease Pencil, but also the extended power of it in terms of making um, seam lines like that. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.